What are some important caveats to keep in mind as you apply the information provided in the HV diagram to your everyday flight operations? Well, first, remember that the certification tests are designed to be conservative. However, some of the test conditions may not represent your operational environment. For instance, there may not be a curve for your specific altitude and weight combination. Remember, the diagrams are formed using 7,000 foot density and maximum gross mass. So if you are at 2,000 foot density and 1,000 pounds under gross mass, what are the dimensions of the avoid area now? You may not know. But what you do know is that the avoid area will be smaller, assuming that all other parameters remain the same. But by how much? Of course, the inverse is also true. If you are at 9,000 foot density, what does the HV curve look like here? You will not know, but you do know that the avoid area will be much larger, but again, by how much? What about a smooth and hard landing surface? Is that what you see below you? This is a requirement for certification, and during testing, helicopters usually slide some distance after touchdown. But an auto rotation to a cornfield, cow pasture, mountain meadow, or tundra will likely not allow for much of a slide. Calm winds, do you have that? Now it's true that you may have 20 knots right off your nose, and if that's the case, you are very fortunate. But what if you must perform an autorotational landing with a crosswind, or much worse, a tailwind? How could this affect the outcome? And what about pilot skills? Remember, for certification, no exceptional skills, alertness, or conditions are allowed. Once again, in an effort to ensure the HV curve is usable for all of us, the authorities do everything in their power to make the playing field level. However, can you really remove exceptional skill from the pilot conducting the testing? Perhaps, but not likely. What about alertness? During testing, the pilot knows precisely when the engine will fail. They have also been mentally preparing for each test point. There are no surprises here, but what about for you? It's most likely that you will be a bit surprised, and even if you're not surprised by the actual engine failure, you may be surprised by the availability of suitable landing locations. Mm -hmm.